Hi, Joanne here. Um, I was going to show you guys how to do mosaic grouting today for mosaic art. Um, so basically, I'm going to just introduce that and then I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn the camera off, turn it around and then show you a few tools that I'm going to be using. So uh, I'll see you in a second. Okay, so this is the piece that we're going to be grouting today. Um, it's about an 8 by 10 approximately, maybe 9 by 11, I have to remeasure. And what I did is, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I taped up the edges because I painted the wood black on the sides just to have a nice edge and I don't want to get grout all over it if I can help it. If I do, I sand and repaint, it's not the end of the world, but I'm trying to reduce the amount of work on myself. So just up into to the level of the tiles, I put some just masking tape and I'm working on a, just a garbage bag tape down or if you have a tarp that's fine because it will get messy and so we have our grout in here which I've already taken out and water for cleaning up and we're going to mix this grout with water we can use like a spatula or a spoon a wooden spoon a lot of people use um, then we're going to need, if you were doing a bigger piece, you could use this kind of a, um, I don't know the name of it, a grout applicator. <laughs> or you could use, I bought these at the dollar store just to uh, help with cleaning up after cleaning up the grout when it dries. Because sometimes it dries where you don't want it to. Um, but for spreading, I'm going to be using just one of these um, cake or batter kind of dough. Um, very flexible plastic. It's a, a like a scraper. I call it a plastic scraper. And I'm going to be using that to apply and a combination of this and my hands. We also need gloves. We need a mask. Normally an N95 but I don't have that so I'm going to be wearing this just while I'm mixing the grout. Okay so I'll turn the camera off and we'll see you in a few minutes. Oh the grout I'm using today is poly Profix Poly 500 in a nougat color. Okay, it's like a dark gray. See you in a few minutes. Okay, so we're back and we've let the mixture sit for a few minutes. And now I'm going to give it one final stir and then I'm going to start grouting. Just to get it really smooth. Okay, so that's the consistency right now. Now I'm hoping I've set this camera up so that you can see this properly and I'm gonna I think I'm actually gonna start by just throwing this on like that. I hope I've mixed up enough. Spread it around a little. I think I might actually have a bit too much but that's okay. Better, better a little too much than not enough for me anyway. So now I'm going to just, you can use your fingers to do this as well, depending how I find this I might do that. So to me I think it's going to be a little easier to use my fingers, let me just, well maybe not, let me try this. We can work it in later with our fingers. But as you can see it's a bit messy and grout falls off the sides, so that's part of the reason why I taped up my sides. And you want to work with this pretty quickly, I think this one you mix only enough what you need for like that you can use in 10 minutes because it dries pretty quickly like starts to set up pretty quickly according to the, the instructions so I'm gonna start working it in by hand just to make sure that I've got everything worked into all the little the little spaces use some of that and fill it Try and go in circles, that'll help rub it in so that it goes deep enough into your grout lines. And do the sides just to make sure the sides get filled up too. Any places where there's big cracks on the sides. There. Same thing here. On all the edges, I'm doing that just to make sure. <coughs> 
that everything is pretty well covered. Go. I'm just inspecting it as I go along. I don't know if you can see that. I'm inspecting it as I go along just to see if there are any lines that are not filling up and maybe I'm not going in the right direction. That's why you have to kind of crisscross and go in all different directions while you're doing this. And also my tiles are two different heights. So the background, the white tile is a lower height just by a touch, maybe a millimeter or two. So you really have to be careful as you're going along to make sure that you get everything. <clears throat> now I'm gonna start removing as much as I can of the grout and I'll just gather it up into a little pile here. So we can get rid of it after. all that that we don't need anymore same thing with the sides I'm going to scrape off that I don't need don't worry if you do get some on the back it's okay because you can clean it up later now, see, when I turn this, I noticed that there's a little spot here that had a little hole. So I don't want that, so I'm trying to fill it as I go along. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm inspecting as I go all the way around. And make sure that there are no little holes. And filling them as I go. And again, let's get all this cleaned out of the way as much as possible. You know. One more scraping just to get off what we can, get off the majority of the excess. It's a very messy job. The first time I did it, I hated it because it was so messy. I'm actually starting to like it. Okay, so now we're just going to let this sit for about 20 minutes till it starts to get like a kind of a haze over it, like a, a glazing kind of an effect. And then when that happens, it's time that I can start cleaning it up a bit. So I'll, I'm gonna take off my gloves so I can shut off the camera and I'll be back with you shortly. Hi again. Um, so we're back after letting this dry for about 20 minutes. And I'm going to, you see this little haze that's forming here? When I go like that, you could, when I go like this, you can see it turn white. Uh, wait, maybe he can't see it. Let me show you here. You see that white line? That means that it's ready for cleaning. Now there, some people that only do it dry, some people do it wet. I do a combination of both, but you have to really make sure you wring out most of Bring out your sponge a lot so that you really just want it damp, not, not soaking wet because then you're going to remove most of the grout. So I'm just going to pass lightly over this and try to remove the grout that I've, you know, you're basically you're trying to remove just what's on the surface of the tiles. And I'm going in circles so I don't go and remove anything in one little grout line let's say and I'm gonna rinse it you'll have to rinse quite often and go over it again and if you find that that's not going very well you can always um, go over it with a dry either a dry cloth or some paper towels which I'm going to do a little bit of that right now and see how that goes a little better. I find it's kind of a trial and error thing. See? You're basically trying to get rid of the grout that's not supposed to be there and just keep the grout that you want. So this can take a while. And I'm going to 
take a new paper towel and pull on this side up. And slowly, slowly, <clears throat> slowly, the picture starts to emerge. Again, you want to be really careful You're tr not to take the grout out of the places where you don't want it to come out of. Just where you know your white lines are. Like in this particular case, the white is my outline. So I'm trying to remove the grout from this area here so that, you know, you still have it in the crack, but not on top of the, the tile. So this can take a while, so I'll uh, finish cleaning it up and I'll come back and show you the final. Hi, so I'm back and uh, we've let this dry about another hour. It's curing the, uh, the grout so that it gets hard and it's pretty good, but there's some lines I noticed that are not exactly straight. So I'm going to take a little brush. You could use a toothbrush. I just, like I said, I just got these at the dollar store. And you're just going to go any place where you see that it might be needing a bit of accentuation, your lines. You don't want to remove the grout because it's still not 100% cured yet. I'd go like 24 hours before I think that that's fully cured at least. But... If there's any little areas where the lines are crooked and you want to you see that the grout is dried onto the tile, you want to just kind of brush that lightly. At the same time, I had already painted the sides, but of course, you know, you want to just give it a light, I just want to give it a light brushing without removing the, the grout that's in between. So I just want to just clean that up and I'll touch up the paint later and paint the back later. But this gets off the worst of it. Same thing with all sides. There we go. When it's dry, if you notice that there's any parts you missed, you can just give it a light sanding to um, remove any little bits of growth that may be hardened on there. And I'm just gonna, because I was messy, I'm just gonna clean up the back before I paint it. Now I'm going to, my tape's coming undone here on my, on my cloth, on my garbage bag, but I'm going to remove some of the grout out of the way. So just let me put this down for a moment so I can do that neatly. Get it out of the way so we can lay this down again. Okay, and I'll just put that paper towel aside to dispose of later. So... Now I'm going to take a clean paper towel, maybe two, and I'm going to start again polishing up the parts that might have grout on top of the tile. You don't want the grout to be on top of your tile, just in between. Now you're on a table so you're shaking, I'm sorry, I'm not a professional at the camera as I said before. Maybe with time it'll get better. But so for right now, I'm just polishing off the tiles themselves without trying to get anything more out of the grout lines because we've pretty much done that. But now we just want to accentuate the tile in any little spots where we see that the grout may be covering. Because as I said, some this is especially a problem if you're using uneven tiles, like tiles that are of different heights. So it's still possible to do whatever you want to do. It's fine. And as a matter of fact, it even adds, you know, depth and everything. So that's good. But you have to be really careful when you're cleaning your grout to make sure. Sometimes paper towel, sometimes people use an old t-shirt. I could use that too. Um, so it's pretty good right now. And I'll give it a final cleaning and polishing once I, uh, once it's cured for like 24 hours. Uh, one thing I did want to mention is that when you start something like this, um, I'm using plywood, so it's for indoors, and what I did, well, even if you're using a, an outdoor type of material, I put the hanging hardware on before I even started doing my mosaic, so that it can go right through, because this is a heavy piece. They're all heavy, like, because of the tile, the grout, or sometimes if it's an outdoor piece, you even have mortar underneath instead of glue. 
So I'm just going to continue doing little bits of polishing and I hope you enjoyed this little grouting session we had and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, Joanne here again. I just wanted to mention that my camera, I guess I didn't push the button hard enough so it cut out when I was mixing the grout for this project. So basically you just want to follow the manufacturer's instructions and um, mix the water in slowly so that it doesn't get too thin otherwise you'll have to add more grout. So that's the part that's left. Sorry. Thanks. See you next time.